Hi guys, this is a small review of uh, my Tika T3 Tactical chambered in 300 wind mag. I will start in the back. Back stock feels a little bit cheap plastic, but it works okay. Cheek piece on the tactical is hard plastic, so it's not that comfortable. On mine, I put on some neoprene on top of it, nice and soft now. Makes it a bit wider though, that's the only negative on that. And also, the negative is it's got five settings, it's difficult to make um, intermediate settings in between, otherwise, it's a nice butt stock. It wasn't cheap plastic though. <laughs> this is a um, I bought a second hand, so used, but it works perfectly. The mechanism is really nice and smooth. You can see some scratch marks on the Teflon they put on there, but I normally put a bit of gun oil on there, and it's smooth as a fucking baby's ass. Put our, I don't know what it's called, but a rubber rubber ball on the on the handle to get more to get more leverage really nice the trigger is really nice and set it now to the smaller setting I think I can't remember in English it's a little bit less than one kilo it's yeah you touch it and it fucking goes off straight off no problems there. Really smooth trigger. No movement in the trigger. There it goes off. It's really perfect trigger actually for me. Doesn't move. You put the weight on there and as soon as you hit that, the weight you're supposed to have for the bullet to go off, it goes off. No movement. And also afterwards, now is a little bit movement in the trigger, but when you got that uh, spring up, then it's all right. Four shot magazine, standard. It's, it's not really good if you're uh, doing hand loads, since you probably want to um, see to put it pull it a little bit longer from the standard. And it will actually not fit in the magazine because it's made only for standard standard length bullets. So doing two tenths off or something like that will not be able to use the magazine. Then it's yeah, single load only. Yeah, and also it's a re if you get the casing falling back inside, you can't get your fingers in. Almost if you got a glove on, you not cannot get in. Get the, the shell out. That's a little pain in the ass. As well, if you want to drop, if you drop the bullet in with the back end first, it will not fit. Because the um, bullet itself will hit the tip, will hit the front, and so you have to slide it in, as you should be sliding it in. <laughs> yeah, and this is um, my new scope from the first videos I put up. This is the Night Force 1242-56 with the MLRs, MLR crossing side is really nice. It's now set to 200 meters. These rings are going to get changed soon to a um, spur, spur rings. They're quite expensive, so I need to talk to my girlfriend about that first. Uh, and also on the note about Spur, they are really good people, really helpful. I sent them a question to give me more information than I needed about the rings, the, uh, what size I needed. I wanted a 20 mower as well on there. No problems. They has helped me, told me which model numbers and the, the stock I will put on this weapon later as well. It will fit that as well. They checked it up for me. So they did a lot of looking around, contacted even the 
the stock manufacturer to make sure that the rings I want to buy of them will fit this scope on top of that that stock. The front stock is really it's grippy, it's nice, it's a bit thicker, so you got a good good grip in the front, good a good area on there so you can have some yeah if you're shooting without bipod have a big big area to put it on so you, if you got a sandbag or something it's really nice I'm using this cheap this shit Chinese Harris bipod copy that I don't like it's gonna become my Atlas bipod on here later since I heard they are better I hate these spring-loaded bastards the barrel is not a full bull. I think it's uh, medium. I'm not sure. It's got a bit of taper on it, but it's quite thick. Really, really thick. And it's iodized or something with some materials. It's cold forged or with, I think it's chrome lining or something like that. I was reading up on a on it. I'm Swedish, so I'm sorry, but I don't know all the proper words in, in English for it. And I got the uh, muscle brake. That's a Seiko original. Came with the rifle. Works well. The recoil is not too heavy, but Jesus, the sound, man. And pushes all, all the pressure back. So if you've got some friends you want to shoot with, make sure to weigh it to the sides, mate. Overall, it's it's a really nice rifle, and this scope is absolutely amazing. And of course, the scope has parallax. If you don't know anything about the Night Force NSX versions, and also Lumi yeah, lumicated the crosshairs. Yeah, this rifle is a real tack driver straight out of the box. I've done no, no modifications to the barrel, anything. Uh, the only thing I changed is the loads. And yeah, at 100 meters, you're going, if you shoot five shots, you can make the, the, the following four shots hit the first one, no problem. I was shooting five shot series and the hole went from a standard single hole shot to 11 millimeters because I measured the hole on the center. So it's a real tack driver. And the ammo I'm using now and will be using is the AMAX 168 grain. I'm using Norma powder, doing a 79 grain load. And I'm just about a hundredth off on the bullet seating. Just to have some leverage just in case. If I do something I, something wrong, I don't want to get my bloody face caved in with. Uh, but thank you for watching. I will do some more videos about this rifle in the future when I get the, get the mount from spur I will definitely do another video about that it's a real good mount I like it I've seen it I've touched it and I felt it feels really solid and uh, you got a lot of possibilities with that side it comes with a, a spirit level on the mount so you don't need to buy one so you just open your left eye and you can see the spirit level and see that you're going to level. And good access point to mount, uh, mount the degree indicator on the, on the mount as well. And once more, thanks to, I think his name is Håkan Spur for all his help with the mount I need. I recommend you to go and see them. It's Spur, I think it's com or something like that I will put the link underneath in the description and also thanks to Kyle at XLR 
um, I think they call XLR Evolution stocks. They are really nice. They helped me out a bit, and that's the that's the stock that's coming on this bus at the HD version. Really nice stock. Then I'm gonna go up from 200 meters, and I'm gonna do some real long, nice long shots. If I can get a, the, sorry, if I can get a, a range that actually does it here in Sweden, where I'm right now shooting, two, three hundred meters is normally the longest ranges you can get here because of safety and shit like that. Normally, you can only get military ranges, and yeah, it's a bit pain in the ass to be able to get onto those. You need to have family members or something to normally get access. Once again, thank you for listening and watching. Have a nice day.